welcome to this new video for my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Caro Herrera, and today I'm going to be talking about a story called The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. I shall be talking about the novel and its movie adaptation in a spoiler-free way. The book was published in 2007, and it's a historical novel. It was written by Marianne Schaffer, who came up with the idea after visiting the island of Guernsey in the 80s and seeing how it was one of the only places in Britain that was occupied by the Nazis. Sadly, Schaeffer grew terminally ill and she asked her niece, Annie Barrows, who was an author, to help her finish up the story. The movie came out in 2018 and it was directed by the celebrated Mike Newell. It has a wonderful cast. It starts Lily James, Mikiel Hausman, Glenn Powell, Jessica Brown Finley, Matthew Good, Tom Courtney and Penelope Wilson, among others. Oh, and before I begin, let me just say that this will be a video without spoilers, so sit back and enjoy. It begins in London a year after World War II has ended. We follow this writer called Juliet Ashton as she is promoting her new book throughout England. At first sight, we get the impression that she has everything. Success, a charming boyfriend, a great best friend, and yet it soon becomes clear that the ghost of her past still haunt her. One day, Juliet receives a letter from Dossie Adams, a pig farmer from the island of Guernsey who happens to have a book that belonged to her. They start corresponding and Juliet learns that Dossie forms part of a group called the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Juliet learns why they are called Doss, it has something to do with the Nazis, and the history of how this book club was formed really interests her. And with her curiosity aroused, Juliet ends up going to Guernsey to meet its members, discovering tons of buried secrets, meeting extraordinary people, making wonderful friends, and discovering her true self in the island in the English Channel. There's more to this story to thicken the plot. For example, a love triangle, hearing stories about World War II, and the power of reading and how books can bring people together. I give the movie a 5 out of 5 stars review and the book as well. I highly recommend it because it has magic and charm and as an aspiring writer myself, I wish I could just step into the protagonist's shoes and live her story. The love story is what attracted me the most I think about this. Mikiel Hausman is just so dreamy. I'd seen him in other stuff but his character of Dossie Adams just swept me off my feet. This film is as close as perfection as you can get. Some people I've talked to think it's a little bit slow, but I don't mind slow movies when they're done right. As to the book, still prefer the movie, but the book is so lovely. It was great learning more stuff about the characters that I already fall in love with. And while there are some changes in the adaptation, overall the movie is fairly faithful to the book. Again, as to the love story, I prefer the way it's portrayed in the movie, but maybe because it's not that full of action and thus it's better to see the subtle hints on screen. As to the protagonist, Juliet Ashton, in the film she's a very determined, curious, independent young woman and definitely a role model who is not afraid to follow her heart. In the book she is funnier and I just love reading about her struggles with coming up with a good novel. But in the end I prefer her in the movie because there she is younger, which means that I can identify with her a bit more and she's also far less experienced with life and thus that makes her more susceptible and vulnerable to whatever she encounters along the way. The only thing that I can criticize both in the book and in the movie is that I wish that they had expanded a bit more upon Juliet's grief about her coping with the past. I would have liked her to talk with the members of the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society about her past because we see her consoling so many of the islanders who suffered the occupation and yet we don't see anyone consoling her in a way and yet she never opens up that much about herself in that regard to her new friends. One final thing that I would like to mention though is that I love the way this story portrays the power of letter writing. I mean, nowadays we also talk and befriend people we've never met online, but before there was just this romantic traditional aspect to it where you had to wait for people to write back and the letter to arrive and stuff. But yeah, anyways, I have befriended people I've never met online and when I have met them after years of talking to them, it's just an amazing experience. I first became aware of the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society when I saw the first trailer for the movie and because I am an Anglophile, a lover of period dramas, a big bibliophile, I thought this movie would interest me. Still, when I learned that the book was written in a series of letters written by one character to another, I grew a bit disheartened because I don't really like to read epistolary novels, so I decided not to read it. When I finally did see the movie, something wonderful happened. It was love at first sight. I love the acting, the setting, the story, the names, the themes surrounding books. I love that it showed an aspect of World War II that's not very popular, since I am a history lover. I am ashamed that I'd never heard of the island of Guernsey before this novel. But yes, one of the 
most important bits about the story that appealed to me was a love story. I was not expecting it and it was so beautiful and simple and I just love that the spirit of it is so rare to find in movies nowadays when sex is all that sells and yet this is like very pure and innocent and charming. But yes, anyways, it had been a while since I liked a film so much that I wanted to watch it every day. I must admit that I saw it for almost a month every single day because I loved it so much. And it's on Netflix. And well, I was so invested with this story that I finally decided to read the book. So when I was in Paris, I went to the famous Shakespeare and Co. company bookstore and I and that was the first book that I picked. And now, here I have it. And here's a Shakespeare and Co stamp. I am so glad that I got over my epistolary novel prejudice and I finally read it. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching my review of the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you liked my review or not. And I would love to talk about this story with you, so feel free to tell me about the movie and the book or about my video in the comments section. Also, in the description box below, you can find a link to the book's Goodreads page as well as a link to the IMDb page for the movie. But yeah, anyways, I'm Carrera, the Mental Traveler, and I wish you a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I'll be seeing you soon. Goodbye.